it's time. Stand up, please. Open 13. It is ordered and adjudged that the judgment pronounced and set forth in this order entered herein on November 6th, 20XX, sentencing the defendant to death in the manner and by the authorities as provided by statute shall be executed at this time. You are hereby sentenced to do the do until you are dead. Mountain Dew is in no way affiliated with nor endorses this video. Any final words you'd like to say? Pull the tabs. Well, it was a bountiful knockoff harvest this year. Just look at all these mountain duds the subscribers sent us, Rick. So much love. So much love. Do you feel the love, Rick? I do. I do feel the love. Wait, no, that's the bag of cocaine that ruptured in my stomach. My mistake. Nah, potato, potato. Hey, YouTube and Twitch, I'm Topsybot5000, and today I'm going to melt this human being's stomach with citric acid for our and your amusement. Also, Flux Namtari is here for some reason. Hi. Rick, same procedure from our Dr. Pepper knockoff taste test. If you'll set the table, please. Oh, hey, sure, don't get up. I'll dig my own grave, too. Jolly good. So, we're not doing a champagne glass, we're doing a beer mug. <laughs> You can't drink from a champagne glass in a prison jumpsuit. Okay. That's true. That's the law. You know, the thing you break. And I see instead of the wine bucket, we have this monstrosity. Ooh. What, this, this is a, That's nasty. This is a prison toilet. Yeah. We have to have somewhere for your filthy backwash to go. You won't make it past the first five knockoffs if you drink every can. Everyone deserves to see you try their submissions. Nasty. And our palate cleanser, Taco Bell's very own tortilla chips. Taco Bell is in no way affiliated with nor endorses this video. Pussies. Provided by our good buddy Xander Lovecraft, who sounds like the protagonist of a 90s survival horror video game. Thanks, Xander. Let's go. I was promised a soda snuff film, damn it. I want to watch this guy's kidneys give out. Kidneys all falling out your ass. Sperm count dropping like a kidney stone. <laughs> yeah, your junk's gonna be a kidney stone machine gun. <laughs> Up first, the reigning champion of citrus flavored combination, accounting for 80% of lemon limey soft drinks sold in the US of A, the original Mountain Dew. And a glass bottle, no less. Yep. Gunner Johnson is the man we have to thank for providing us with the Mountain Dew measuring stick. <laughs> Made with real sugar, this is a good shit. Enjoy, because it's a long, rocky fall from here. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Right, the OG. Good stuff. Here we go. Yeah! Mountain Dew! That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that one. I've been avoiding all soda for like weeks. So this tastes like poison to me, actually. <laughs> I, and I say that as someone who loves Mountain Dew. I really do like Mountain Dew quite a bit. Uh, it's usually a, a neck and neck tie between Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper, but this tastes awful to me right now. <laughs> Enjoy your bro mine, bro -heim. But if I were in the full swings of unhealthy drinking habits, I'm sure I would love this as I usually do. So that's good. Imagine that's what it's like if you smoke a cigarette after not smoking a cigarette after a couple weeks. Your body's like, oh, what? <laughs> this? So, I thought you were done with this. So that's your control. Now everything else. <laughs> yep. Oh, beautiful Sal was a stone-hearted gal refusing to bill or to coo. But Clem was right smart. He appealed to her heart with that gal getting good old Mountain View. Mountain Dew will tickle your innards cause there's a bang in every bottle. Give Mountain Dew to ladies so you can tickle their innards. Oh. <laughs> uh, did it give you that barefoot feeling? 
Uh, it gave me that no foot feeling. <laughs> <laughs> That's called neuropathy. Oh. Yeah, you don't need feet to be a skydiving surfer that robs banks on his way to the X Games. Do the do! Yeah, that that is the gamer fuel that I need. That gets me all hyped up to play Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and Halo 3 for 16 hours straight. Got my poop sock already. Ah, chug it and show no mercy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that's good, but most people most people have done the do. Uh, you either love it or you hate it. I think it's it's time to move on. But this this we do have now we have now our Mountain Dew measuring stick. So, <laughs> all right, most humans have done the do. Your stay of execution is officially over, bud. Time to start slumming it. Flux, what's our first Mountain Dew imposter, and whose fault is it? Our first challenger to the throne comes from our buddy Michael Brister. It's a Coke product made in 1979 to directly compete with Pepsi's Mountain Dew. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 12 fluid ounces, it's Mellow Yellow! I'm just mad about corn syrup. Pretty sweet can art, actually. <laughs> yeah, sweet can. I like it, it's like tough guy construction colors. Kinda reminds me of Flux's palette. Hell yeah, bitch. It also doubles as uh, advertisement for Y3 foot fashion. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna put this in my body. Look out, throat! Watch out, tongue! I've got the world's fastest soft drink, and here it comes. Yellow, yellow makes you feel so good, so fast. Look out, liver! Watch out, lungs! Caramel coloring and soda is linked to cancer. <laughs> Well... Mellow yellow makes you feel like ass so fast. <laughs> oh man, already? Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. That's... I don't like that at all. That's kind of... It's kind of grungy tasting. I don't like it. That could be that bad. It's it's that bad, dude. Like, it's got too much lime. I don't know. Like, I would say uh, mellow yellow is not to Mountain Dew as Mr. Pibb is to Dr. Pepper. That's... Damn. Ooh. I don't like that at all. But it's a Coke product. <laughs> like, like that means it. You know what I hate? I hate it when you're at a restaurant and they like you know like, oh, I want such and such, and they're like, no, we only have Coke products. It's like, oh shit, sorry. Yeah, you just kind of stare at them blankly. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like let me bust out my. I don't have my soda family tree handy right now. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't think I had to order a 23andMe and go to Ancestry.com for your soda products here. What sodas do you have? Can you just list them? Yeah, just say the words that you put in a cup that I pay for. Just do that. <laughs> no, no, no. Be, be nice to people in the service industry. They get enough shit as it is. Yeah, let me give it a try. Flux, you can taste things? Like, for real? Uh, I, I can't exactly taste things, but I can analyze the composition of a soda to make a comparative conclusion about its effects on the human palate, but I don't like or dislike taste. Ah, that said, Mellow Yellow's gross. Damn! Well, gentlemen, how extreme would you place Mellow Yellow on the extremometer? Uh, I would say Mellow Yellow is wiping out on the half pipe in your backyard in front of the girl you like. Extreme! Yeah. Eh. I've never done that, but... No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's more extreme than anything I've done, but it is... Uh, exactly as extreme as Mellow Yellow is. It's just not very... Bleh. Okay. It looks like you're about to break stuff! Yeah! I can feel those lighters! Up next, from Mega Cogger Mike Lopardo, we have Mountain Explosion. I like this one. Look, they're even so bold as to ape on Mountain Dude's, uh, like, tech-speak MTN abbreviation. Look at that. <laughs> Yep, this little Mountain Dew masquerader offends your palate courtesy of Dollar General's private value brand, Clover Valley. Nah, I thought I detected a dollar store Mephitis. <laughs> Mephitis? Easy there, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, check this out. 100% satisfaction guarantee. There's even a phone number you can call. 888-309-9030. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I bought some Mountain Explosion, and it made me feel... Like a piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad the uh, the phones are out on account of the Armegadon. Bottoms up, taste that savings. Huh? 
Dude, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I think if uh, you handed this to me and told me it was Mountain Dew, that would fool me. That's that's not bad. I like wow. it. Really? Mm-hmm. Flux, your thoughts? Uh, oh, God damn, that's boring. Uh, yeah. Mountain explosion, yeah, the, as if the explosion was uh, like beige wallpaper or something like that. I, I, it's, uh, I, I, I can't taste it. But again, I don't like or dislike taste. All right, how extreme is mountain explosion, boys? <laughs> I would say mountain explosion is as extreme as catching some big sick air on a neon BMX bike. Cheers, Clover Valley. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Uh, I would say it's as um, extreme as catching big sick air on a neon BMX bike over the entire Clover Valley. So like over a bunch of bottom shelf knockoff brands? Yes, that's correct. Banging. <laughs> Our next Mountain Dew mock-up comes to us in a whopping eight-pack of knockoffs sent to us by Ruth, Rachel, and Diana Fabiano. That's a lot of dew. That's you. a lot of dew. First up is Mountain Moondrops from Laura Lynn. Laura Lynn, the Belgian singer, the queen of Schlager? What the f*** is Schlager? The most embarrassing thing to come out of Germany since the Third Reich. That's pretty embarrassing. Frau Kapitän, ganz in Laura Lynn sounds more like a wholesome country singer. <laughs> right. This one's called Mountain Moon Drops. It's about my old boyfriend. We still keep in touch. Mountain Moon Drops. Is that like the country version of Oh, skeet, 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 skeet. Oh, skeet, skeet. Um, that one goes down really smooth, but it's, I don't know. It's kind of bland. Let me try again. Yeah, this one is not taking me to flavor country. You can really taste uh, the orange and the citrus in it really well, but um, not a lot of carbonation. That's, uh, it's hard to find much to say about mountain moon drops, I gotta be honest. That's more like uh, molehill moon drops. That's, eh. Yeah, let me try, you have an uncultured palate. Also, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, it's not that bad, actually. Yeah. All right, let me have another sip. Oh my god. I'll give it like a two. My teeth hurt. Your ratings, chums? Uh, Mountain Moon Drops is about as extreme as watching It's a Wonderful Life. Tucked into an electric blanket, drinking a warm glass of milk. <laughs> it's as extreme as falling in a pool of chinchillas. Soft baby chinchillas. <laughs> well, that can get pretty extreme. How far are you falling before you fall into the chinchilla pit? Yeah, and the rabid. <laughs> That's pretty extreme, bro! Great. The next Mountain Dew duplicate once again comes to us from the Fabiano family. Say hello to Mountain Lightning. Will it be Mountain Frightening? I'm actually pretty jazzed for this one because this has the most modernized can art of the entire bunch. Yeah, it's pretty encouraging when it looks like they didn't do the art themselves. <laughs> yeah. Citrus flavored soda with other natural flavors. Does Mountain Dew have a descriptor like that? I don't think so. <laughs> I am Descriptor! I will describe you into oblivion! <laughs> no, no, I guess Mountain Dew doesn't have a have any kind of a tagline like that, does it? The Dew defies description. That's right. Yeah, it doesn't need one. It's Mountain Dew. I mean, you get it. You get it. It's Mountain Dew, you get it. It's sugary bullshit. Let's show some hustle, Meatbag. We've got a lot of dew left to pour down your throat hole. Oh yeah, Topsy, uh, your sunny disposition reminded me. Oh, something here. Boom. What? Get the f out. Topsy, I know you've been down in the dumps over having an inoperable mouth, so I found this little Wi-Fi gadget down in Blackwood's lab, and now you can participate in the taste test. Meet the flavor. I don't care what it's called. 
Extra dirty tongue on the rocks, please. So, mountain lightning. All right, you filthy degenerates, your tab is officially open. No, you can't charge your phone behind the counter. No, you can't change the channel on the TV, and I don't care if you know the owner. Oh my God, you don't have blue cheese stuffed olives? I'm not gonna bar you, it doesn't have any blue cheese stuffed olives. What's the cheapest, strongest thing that you have? She needs to work out a boyfriend tonight. You guys getting anything? You guys getting anything? Uh, hmm, uh, so there was a lot of carbonation there, and, uh, it's pretty sugary, not an acceptable Mountain Dew substitute, but not the worst I've ever, uh, well, I mean, it's the only Mountain Dew knockoff I've <laughs> ever tried, so, take from that what you will. Now that I could taste this stuff, I mean, is this seriously what you guys do all day? Like, this is it? This is it. Yeah. This is the pinnacle. <laughs> You give up your teeth for this? <laughs> yeah, man. No, it's great. It rots away your uh, horrible natural teeth, and then you just go get fake ones plugged in. It's super affordable. Yes, it's my turn. This this is pretty peculiar on the back. I got to point this out. There's the Walmart Spark logo in all black. It's not the proper Walmart Pantone color code. Uh, does not have the Walmart name on it. It makes me think they were a little sheepish about it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we'll put the logo on, but but not the same. Not our not our best work. Yeah. It's like uh, Garth Brooks uh, and Chris Gaines. Uh. <laughs> yeah. mm. oh, dude. <laughs> I forgot about that shit. That was the weirdest. <laughs> when you want to be rock, but you don't want anyone to know about it. Yeah, I also want to be photoshopped to look 200 pounds lighter and uh, have, have an a, email haircut. Yes. Uh, right. But you need to quit stalling and face your mountain doom like a man, Rick. All right, all right, here we go. Yeah, uh, I don't know. God damn. Chris Gaines? <laughs> this is definitely on the Chris Gaines side. Um, yeah, dude, that's real middling. Um, God, I'm struggling. Like, these all kind of just bleed together, like... A lot of these knockoffs, and that one in particular, it it just tastes like Mountain Dew that somebody did something to. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like it's like somebody let all the ice melt in it, and then soak their big toe in it. Yeah, people did uh, questionable things with this uh, yeah. little dew. <laughs> yeah. That's what Mountain Lightning tastes like. It's is that where the term doohickey comes from? <laughs> From people soaking their toes in Mountain Dew. Ugh. You ever given Mountain Dew hickeys? Is that a thing? <laughs> Where's the hickey cup? Make that work. The hickey cup? <laughs> what the f is happening? That's a different Blackwood invention we don't talk about. All right. So, final thoughts? Uh, I would say Mountain Lightning is no more extreme than a bland post-church lunch at Olive Garden, <laughs> but it's an Olive Garden that's out of breadsticks and salad. Oh, that sucks. That's rough. Yeah, it's not worth it. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, that got me right in the face. <laughs> I've been violated. There's some stuff floating in here. <laughs> Ew. I think it's a piece of chip. It's a piece of your It's tooth. a piece of chip. Piece of tooth. Hey, if you enjoyed us making fun of sham soda, there's at least some chance you'll enjoy us making fun of video games. Studies show at least 10 out of 10 game enthusiasts have experimented with carbonated beverages. Subscribe below to keep your eyeballs and ear holes pointed at Robot Co-op. Do it. This is just awkward now. Yeah, you should go there now. Do it. There's like only yeah. two two or three seconds left in this little little end screen. Ah, oh, the world's about to end here! Ah! Stop turning me! Ah!